It is a milestone year for tribute to women, the 30th anniversary for the luncheon. The event isn't until June 13th, so you might wonder, guys, why are you talking about <laughs> it now? Well, nominations are due in three weeks. We like to be prepared. <laughs> Uh, nice. And Elizabeth Power returns from the Women's Center for Advancement. Good to see you. Hi, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Hi. 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 This is a big luncheon, but would you set this up for us? Because we're going to get into the details about mm -hmm. it a little bit later. But uh, what what is it? And I guess what's it like? What happens? So it's wonderful. It's so special, mm -hmm. and we honor eight to ten women in the community every year at the luncheon. So it's all about them, and of course a little bit about the WCA mm -hmm. and the work mm -hmm. we're doing in the community. And this year it's just, we're so excited because it is our 30th, mm -hmm. and so we're already prepping and planning some of those special touches that we can put on past honorees, yeah. um, making it bigger and better than ever before, and special videos and honors and tributes mm -hmm. um, to really just amazing women in this community. As we, we start to talk about the sorts of nominations you'd like to see, I think looking back at past honorees mm -hmm. is a good way to set that up. So helpful. give us a few examples of the women you've honored and, and what they did that earned that recognition. Right. So we have honored judges mm -hmm. in the area. We've honored um, Dr. Angela Hewlett, who helped with Ebola and, and mm -hmm. bringing all of that attention and that critical research mm -hmm. and information to the country, yeah. not just Omaha. Um, we've honored many different community volunteers. Mm -hmm. So it's certainly not somebody who's just doing these great big career mm -hmm. um, impactful things, but mm -hmm. people who are impacting individuals here in Omaha, making big um, commitments to the needy in Omaha, whether through donations, their time, their talent. Um, so yeah, educators mm -hmm. always always great people to nominate. They have yeah. the best stories, politicians uh -huh. even. Uh -huh. um, even politicians. Even, even politicians, even you know, we're not excluding anybody, but yeah. really those women who are breaking that glass ceiling mm -hmm. too. But how does it work, the nomination process, and I guess who can do the nominating? If you, if you, there's somebody out there that you're thinking about, can individuals out there nominate? Absolutely, anybody. Anybody can nominate anybody, and you don't have to just pick one person. You can nominate as many people as you would like. Oh, so sometimes people think they have to pick one. But yeah. if you know five outstanding people, outstanding uh -huh. women, that you think should be honored, please, by all means, let us know who they are. Okay. Fill out this nomination. It's on our website, so mm -hmm. it's super easy to mm -hmm. get to. Yep. It's just a couple pages long. You do need a letter of recommendation from another person. Mm -hmm. um, but... It's really not too difficult. Okay, so what kinds of, if when we go to WCAOmaha.org, even on uh, the homepage, there's a tile about the luncheon, and that's where you'll click mm -hmm. for the nominations. Yep. So um, is, are they just writing on the form, or do they need to have additional documents, not just the letter, but is there anything else, Elizabeth, you, you want to give us a heads up about? Nothing else we okay. need. So no resumes, no yeah. certificates, or, you know, accreditations, nothing. We just want that form mm -hmm. and that extra letter. They can even be emailed. If the letter is hard to actually handwrite or mail in, you can email that to us, Got no it. problem. And one of the reasons we want to get you easy. on this week is because the deadlines are due the 27th. So you yes. still got a couple weeks if you've got some people in mind for these nominations. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. So the 27th uh -huh. of January is the deadline mm -hmm. for nominations. June 13th, the event. Three yes. weeks from now, though, for nominations. How does this luncheon tie back to your mission at the Women's Center for Advancement? Right, so at the Women's Center for Advancement, WCA, we are really focusing on impacting positively mm -hmm. the lives of people who have been impacted by domestic violence and sexual assault. Mm -hmm. We want to help them out of that crisis. We want to get them into safe places, wherever that might be, mm -hmm. and further their lives into better places. What do you do for women? Because I. Here's my thing, Elizabeth, about people who watch. We never know who's watching. And, and I believe right. that some of it is divine, that in that moment they, they needed you. Absolutely. And you were sitting here talking about a luncheon, but may, they need your resources, you know, mm -hmm. or they've got a friend who does. How do they start the process, especially if they feel like they're, they're trapped in a relationship or a situation that is just very, very difficult to get out of? What can you do to give them the confidence that it'll be okay and right. you're there? So first off, you totally gave me goosebumps mm -hmm. because you're so right. Anybody and everybody probably knows somebody who's mm -hmm. been impacted mm -hmm. by um, abuse in their relationship, physical, emotional. If they need to talk to somebody, if they want to talk to somebody, if they think there might be something off, please talk to somebody, mm -hmm. call us. It's as easy as that. 402-345-7273 is our 24-7 hotline. Mm -hmm. Somebody will be there to answer and give you that next step because sometimes it's really just hard to admit that yeah. 
this mm -hmm. is happening in my life or right. this is happening well, in a friend's life. Or you feel like you don't have the money to get away. You're economically right. dependent on somebody else or they've, they've threatened the safety of your kids. I mean, mm -hmm. there, are, there are so many reasons, Elizabeth, and you know that, that the situation continues for as long as it does. But I always say, um, you, you know what you're doing and it is about the health and safety of her and her babies. Yes. Um, so that's why the WCA exists. But in the meantime, you honor these other women who are doing stuff yes. uh, in your circle and outside of it. Um, and we're looking at those nominations. So again, that's why Elizabeth here now. Deadline's coming up on January 27th, but here's some information about the WCA if you'd like to connect with them. And you know, we, we touch base a few different times throughout the year. Mm -hmm. They've got some exciting stuff coming. Uh, in fact, the last event we were at together, you sort yes. of unveiled these big plans, and so they're growing and doing a tremendous amount of good. Thank you for being here. Thanks, Sorry, that's my soapbox so moment. Much. My soapbox, <laughs> but you. I feel so strongly about this. Yeah. We appreciate you. it. Thank <laughs> you. Thanks a lot. Uh, John Caparulo is a funny guy, no doubt.